Great Neck, Long Island. A deranged gunman, Andrew Brooks, goes on a killing spree. Now he's holding an elderly couple hostage in their own home. Well, the situation we were dealing with, we had an individual here who had killed five people. And he had been firing at the police officers randomly throughout the day. After hours of tense negotiations, the suspect releases his terrified hostages. But he's still heavily armed and barricaded on the second floor of the couple's home. If the officers storm the house, they'll be in great danger of being shot by the crazed man. So rather than putting human lives on the line, police decide to employ their secret weapon, an armor-plated robot. It's equipped with a video camera and a two-way intercom. This allows police to see and hear everything inside the house from a safe distance. I tend to call it one-upmanship. Andy, this is the police, Andy. You know, you're a man, I'm a man, you've got a gun, I've got a gun, I've got a robot, well, maybe we can talk about this. As the robot enters the house, police see these images from its video camera. We were going in strictly to find this individual and to negotiate. The robot's gonna start coming up the stairs. As the mechanical cop moves up the staircase, a police negotiator calls out from the intercom inside the robot. Andy, I can stop the robot anytime. Just come to the top of the stairs. The robot's not gonna hurt you. Okay, we're controlling the robot. All I want you to do is go to the top of the stairs, and I'll tell you how to get out of the house. The suspect doesn't respond. The robot keeps climbing. But just as it reaches the top of the stairs, a shot rings out. I can hear you. The camera turns 180 degrees, bringing police face to face with the killer. Andy, Andy, answer me. I can hear you. Answer me. You shot my robot. Look, the time is now. We've been doing this all day long, Andy. There's a lot of people out here. The time is The suspect appears disoriented. Instead of surrendering, he takes aim and attempts to disable the robot. It shakes off the bullet. Once again, it discovers the killer directly in its path. The robot advances and backs the gunman into a corner. The killer fires again from point-blank range. Then, in a final attempt to stop it, the killer points his rifle at the robot's power cord. The bullet hits its mark. The robot had lost its mobility and we had lost sound. But the camera is still working and manages to record the suspect taking one final shot. Moments later, police move in. But rather than give himself up, the desperate killer takes his own life. Clearly, if an officer had climbed these stairs instead of the robot, he would have found himself staring down the barrel of a loaded gun.